record. Oh, is this his fourth untitled project that you? Yes, this is uh, something spontaneous. Oh God, that I came up with this afternoon. Um, I don't think spontaneity is healthy. It's summer. Personally, it's hot. I don't think. And I've got the rare occasion of going to two barbecues. Okay. This weekend, yep. one on Saturday, one on Sunday. Wow, it's a double and dose. I, I need to be somewhat responsible at these barbecues, mm. but. I also want to have a beer, so yes. I'm going to not challenge myself, but I'm going to expand my horizons and have quite a lot of low to no alcohol beers. Okay. So, Tom, I yeah. have this fella, you know, a leftover from Beer Wars. Yes, Fancy I do remember him. Empty, do, 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 uh, from Aldi's. Yep. Uh, Aroni. Zero uh, percent. Yes, sir. Uh, a flat tire from Piston Head. Okay. And this big guy from Asda. Ah, and he goes at the zero percent wheat alcohol-free wheat beer. I yes. So I couldn't think of anything worse. <laughs> <laughs> so I have four alcohol-free beers. Uh, I'm going to try them at these barbecues over the weekend. And yep. next time we record, I'm going to tell you which one of these is amazing and which one was um, bad. Okay, so we, this is a video. This so is, this is, on, this is, is this ending on a cliffhanger? Yes, right this now? is part one. Cue the beer roll of Stuart drinking beer at barbecues. Does that look good? Am I at the top of the, top of the frame? Ah! I'm in the middle of something really Saying something mildly <laughs> offensive And then I click record and go Hello, <laughs> welcome it's back It's the only way As you can tell The beards are a little longer The hairs are a little longer I said that twice um, But yes <laughs> Welcome back to the second half of the video Of what was the best non-alcoholic oh, beer Oh, we're doing this one first Okay, cool, that, no worries Stuart went on about like one minute ago. I'm interested to hear. So yes, the barbecues have been and gone, and I've tried four, no, five uh, alcohol-free beers this summer, and no one likes negativity. So I'm not going to tell you about the bad ones. I'm only going to tell you about the good ones. <laughs> so, We'd hate to lose a few sponsors, you know. The runner-up is the piston heads flat tire okay okay that was nice i had two tins of that at a barbecue uh just a nice easy drinking uh, low alcohol beer uh, which seems to be a first i feel like i've not had a good run with piston heads i got that gift set where it was three tins i really glass, like those yeah. and i didn't like any of them oh that's a shame yet the no alcohol flat tire beer was a nice easy drink interesting so i feel like i need to revisit the, the yeah catalog. yeah I feel, I feel the same but i think it was a couple of years ago now but i enjoyed every single one of those i thought they were mm. really really good good craft beers yeah so i might have been too harsh but i see that gift set is still kicking around so i might you know might try Check again out, man yeah awesome and uh, the number one beer is uh, might makes sense because you know it's, it's a, a well-known established brand of beer but it is peroni really yes the peroni uh liberia interesting yes this what, zero alcohol what? beer was easily the best why was it the best i mean i'm intrigued it just the tastes it was just it just tasted really good you know we're not the the, the most uh best wordsmiths we're not the most best but, wordsmiths no so yeah i just thought i would just show you 
about how badly I'm going to pour this pint. This one you made earlier. Yeah, I mean, it, lo- it looks good. I like the glass as well. The glass is, is probably the best thing about that pint. It's, um, oh, it's tenants. Okay, I take that back. Sorry, so, I, I didn't yeah, look, see. Yeah, it's got a nice carbonation a to it. Uh, looks like a beer. No. It's, it's kind of light, fragrant, like almost like a like a lager tops type of mm. deal going on. It's like, this smells sweet. I'm just thinking, why don't you just take like a, a shandy, like a, a shandy bass or something? That would have been a better idea. That's what I, the taste has brought it all back to me. It made me think. <laughs> Shoot, it was only like three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> the, what you call it? It makes me think of Broughton Ale's Pure Joke, mm. but not as intense. Not as cheesy as that one. So I didn't find it cheesy. I just found it maybe overly sweet. I feel like it was like really strong. It definitely. Or cinder vibes. Mm. Yeah, you might be right. There was, I remember, a bit of a sweetness to it. But and yeah, that's what I can't get over, that, that, that cheesiness that's with a lot of mm-hmm. 0% alcohol beers. And this get is over it. a far lighter taste. Mm. So I think that's where it kind of works more in my favour, whereas, like, Pure Jock was good at the time. But I think going back to it, because when we had those beers, we had two of each. So the second time, it, it missed the mark completely. But I just felt like it was too intense, too strong a flavour, whereas this, um, Peroni, Libria, it's just you know, you know me. I'm maybe we don't, we don't, we don't know. Can we get that confirmed? So, so yep, yeah, um, you know, there's no alcohol, but it's it's close enough. I'm glad you enjoyed it, but I'm glad you found a uh, a note percent that you that you that you dug. That's awesome. So yeah, it makes you do that sound when you drink it, guys. Yep. If you want to sound like that, fill your boots. And if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe. Oh, is that it? All that Jeez. nonsense. It is. It's just How a wee check-in. Like, like this will be like seconds, a nice three, four minute video. There's not a lot to go into. Nice taste of beer. I found in Home Bargains for uh, 49 pence. Check your Home Bargains and let me know if you have it. Nice taste in beer. Handsome men. Good audio. Quality video. Done and dusted. Sayonara.